Welcome to my YouTube channel. Our today's lesson is about squares of fractions. Welcome. Given a fraction like three quarters, this small two there in the mathematics, it means you square that number. To square a number, it's to multiply the number by itself. Like for instance, two squared will be two times two. That is, to square a number means you are multiplying that number by itself. So that's why I'm saying two times two. And the answer will be four. Now, let's go back to example here. So three quarters squared. You can as well write this one as a fraction that is three quarter multiplied by three quarter. That is three quarter times three quarter. Which is three times three, it's nine. Remember from our previous lesson, we had learned about multiplication of fraction by fraction. Therefore, three multiplied by three, it's nine. And our denominators, four multiplied by four, it's 16. And as we can see here, our answer, we can't simplify because these are odd numbers, these are even numbers. So they don't have a common divisor. We leave our answer like that. You can as well say, 3 squared, which will be 9, and 4 squared, which will be 16. And you write your answer straight away like that. Still, it's allowed. Let's do another question. We have 5 over 8, all these squared. So, remember we are saying to square a number is to multiply the number by itself. So if you multiply our fraction by itself, which is 5 over 8, multiply by 5 over 8. So we start by multiplying our numerator. So 5 times 5 is 25, divided by 8 times 8, which is 64. As you can see also here, our answer, 25 is our old number, 64 is an even number. They don't have a common divisor, so we leave our answer like that, meaning that now we can't simplify this kind of a fraction since they don't have a common divisor. Let's check our next example. This kind of a question here is a mixed fraction. Before doing anything else, first of all, you change the mixed fraction to improper fraction before squaring. So let's change it to improper fraction. From our previous lesson, we learn from a previous lesson, we learned on how to change mixed fraction into improper fraction. So 9 multiplied by 2, it's 18. 18 plus 1, it's 19 over 9. After changing now to improper fraction, now we can square. When we are squaring, remember you have said we have multiplied the number by itself. So let's multiply the number by itself. It's 19 over 9, multiplied by 19 over 9. Let's say, let's, let's multiply now 19 times 19. 9 times 9 is 81. So let's 1 carry 8. 9 times 1 it's 9 plus 8 it's 17. 1 times 9 it's 9. 1 times 1 it's 1. Then we put them together, get 1. 7 plus 9 it's 16, carry 1. 1 plus 1 it's 2, 2 plus 1, it's 3. Therefore, 19 times 19 is 361. 9 times 9 is 81. Now, our answer, we can't leave it like this. We say numerator divide by the denominator. Therefore, it shall be 361 divided by 81. 80 times 3 it's 240. 80 times 4 is 320. Therefore, we choose 4. So 81 multiplied by 4, it's 4 times 1, it's 4. 4 times 2, it's 32. Therefore, here we write 4 because of 324. Now we take away. Remember, 1 cannot take away 4, so we borrow 1 from there. That one we have borrowed is equivalent to 110. So 110 is equal to 10 ones plus 1 ones, they become 11 ones. 11 minus 4, it's 7. 
Here we remain with the 5. 5 take away 2, it's 3. Therefore, our answer is 4 as a whole number and our remainder that 7 over 81. Let's do our next example. In this question, it is also a mixed fraction. So we change also to improve our fraction before squaring. So 4 times 3 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. Therefore, it is 15 out of 4. All this squared. To square means we are multiplying the number by itself. And our number is 15 over 4 times 15 over 4. 15 times 15, so we say 15 multiplied by 15. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7, 5, 1. And we put them together, that is 5. 7 plus 5 is 12, carry 1, which is 225. Therefore, our numerator is 225. 4 times 4 is 16. And as you can see, our answer is improper fraction. Well, Never leave your answer in improper fraction. So let's simplify this one. It is numerator divided by denominator, which is 225 divided by 16. How many 16s are in 22? It's 1 because of 16. We take away. We borrow 1 here. It becomes 12. 12 take away 6. It's 6. Two, 1 minus 1 is a 0. So we drop 5. 65 divided by 16. It's 4 because 4 times 16 is 64. Therefore, we remain with 1. 5 minus 4 is 1. So this is the whole number, which is 14. And this one is our remainder over 16. And the answer is 14 and 1 over 16. In this question, so we are also given a mixed fraction. So it's 3 times 4, which is 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. 13 over 3 squared. To square means we are multiplying the number by itself. So it's 13 over 13 times 13 over 13. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 1 is 3. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 1 is 1. Therefore, we put together it becomes 9, 6, 1, which is 169 over. Remember also to multiply the denominators 3 times 3, which is 9. Our answer is an improper fraction. So we say numerator divided by the denominator, which is 169. Our numerator divided by our denominator, which is 9. 16 divided by 9 to goes one time because of 9. 16 take away 9, it's 7. And you drop our 9 there. 79 divided by 9, it's 8 because of 72. 9 take away 2, it's 7. And our answer is 18 and 7 over 9. I wish you the best and kindly subscribe, leave a comment and share with your friends. Also practice. Remember practice makes perfect. Let's go watch it.